episode 39 of Folk from the Boat. I hope you're all very well this week and I am still just by Enfield Lock where we, where we were at the beginning of the series and I'm waiting for the engineer to come to, uh, to do a few things on the boat. If you tuned in last week then you'll know that we've got a few little problems. We've got, <laughs> we've got a bit of a lack of, um, of gas working and having hot water and, and things like that that gas is, is quite useful for and we need a bit of a, a bit of work done to the engine. So waiting for the engineer is becoming a little bit like a Samuel Beckett play, I have to admit. But let's let's remain hopeful and hope <laughs> that at some point before we run out of water some of these things will happen. But it's quite a lovely morning to um <laughs> to be experiencing these things on so there's a lot to be excited about in that way and we just found this quite quite lovely view of Enfield Lock so I've been doing a bit of lock history research and I didn't realize that they've been um, in existence since sort of ancient times really since Roman times in in Europe there have been locks um, although they were a little bit more kamikaze than this type where we nicely go into a pound, into a little area and then we take the lift up and then smoothly drive out but they were a bit more a case of without the pound, lift up the shutters and whoosh, down you go. So I shall be delighting you with more lock, lock knowledge as I learn more about it. Today's song is Farewell Lovely Nancy. It is a song about a sailor who is leaving his lovely Nancy to go for the winter's sail. He expects to be back in the spring. It's quite a common theme in English folk song and I suppose it would have been quite a common theme in English life. So Nancy in this in this song she wants to dress up in sailor's clothing and go with him but he dissuades her saying that her delicate feet can't climb the mast and her beautiful fingers can't hold the tackle. So he takes, he takes that to keep his Nancy at home for him. Of course, we know that several women did go out to sea dressed in sailor's clothing with their partners and to explore that life. And there's yeah, a lot of variations like Blackbird where she again thinks it through the tarry trousers so this is a theme that we've met a few times already. I thought I would look at the melody with you and it's in Dorian mode. I've chosen a melody which is not perhaps the most common one for, used for this song these days but one that was collected by Vaughan Williams, he took it down from a, a phonograph recording by Mr. George Lovett of Winchester in January 1909. Thank you for the uh, Vaughan Williams Memorial Library that we have all this fantastic information. I thought I would talk about the melody and how that makes us feel. And it's in Dorian mode, which some people will be really familiar with. It's a, it's a minor kind of mode and I can... Actually, I'm, I'm gonna get an offstage moment. Chris, can you play an A on the piano? Lovely, thank you. And I'm just going to sing through that scale. La da 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 So it's very common to the most, very similar to the sort of common minor scale. Da 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 la da 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 da. But this one just has a little sharp, and the sixth note gets sharpened a little bit, which just gives it a different feel. That's really what modes do is, is create a different feel for, uh, for the piece of music. This song is in four phrases and the first one of them goes downwards in pitch. If I were to draw, draw it with my hand then it goes right down and I think that gives it a melancholy sort of feeling. So that we go right the way down to the to the bottom of the scale having initially gone up i think it gives gives a sense of the character of the the sadness of the parting the second phrase da -da 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 but 
stronger. What I mean is it goes down, it comes back up again to where we started, and that has a, somehow a s sort of stronger feeling to it. The third phrase, it essentially goes down, but with lots of little rises. So when I have a melody like this, I tend to think of a leaf falling in the autumn, and it's catching on the wind a little bit, so you get it's falling, but it kind of keeps going. That's, that's the image that's always in my mind in this kind of a line. So we have... And I feel that has a sort of hopefulness to it. But in the last phrase... We go right back down again. So there's a sort of a finalness to it. It's it's a little bit fun to read read into that quite what the melody means for the song, although experience of folk songs also tells me that you can find some quite cheerful melodies with some quite sinister or sad subjects. So you make of it what you will. Oh. 